I've been thinking about pizza for like six and a half hours. I even farted earlier and it smelled like pizza. I haven't had pizza in like three and a half weeks. Good news and bad news. The good news is that I'm still alive. The bad news is that I lost my coffee drip somehow yesterday. And uh, I'm also out of email of coffee, so I'm using like a local roastery from uh, Chama. And uh, so I got cowboy coffee going right now. Shout out to F Word. It's not too bad once you pour the cold water in. Um, other bad news, I woke up with ice all over and all over the inside of my tent from the condensation freezing up. It's really cold. We're about two and a half miles from getting back on trail. So we have to walk up river which is right there we got to walk up river and uh, go find this trail but we are under 30 miles from uh, a road crossing to where we can get into town and get another resupply so it's almost 6 a.m let me get this ball rolling 9 17 and we are leaving <laughs> finally the ghost of springs here we come Let's go do some bushwhacking. We have about a three mile walk. Oh, luckily we found a trail. So, so this traverse is what we bypassed yesterday. And right around here is where the people got medevaced out, but you can kind of see some footsteps up there. And then there's switchbacks that come down the mountain and through hikers were advised not to take that route because there's a lot of loose rock and sketchy loose snow. So, uh, glad we didn't go that way. So this is what sucks about hiking in the afternoon. Your foot freaking sinks up to your knees. Pain in the ass. <sighs> Runs along this ridge right here. And up along there. Um, looks like some people tried to walk up straight across there. I might take my chance with this route over here. Pockets. Way over there is barrel. Plain catch up. This is freezing cold. I'm not going anywhere near that. I'm gonna try to take this path up here. As long as I don't slide in into that glacial frozen pool. Yeah! Huh. Look at that. Pockets! Go for a swim! Slippery, muddy mess. I almost want to go around it and walk up. bit of a quandary because there's no real way down over that way the trail is actually right here but as you can see it's like are we gonna hike over this there are some footprints going this way but it looks like pretty much a straight drop on the other side of there and the snow is slushy and sketchy so what do we do I try to 
cut down in that valley to get down somehow. Oh, this is sketch. I we figured this out, and I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but uh, we've been up and down this looking for where the trail goes because the trail is supposed to wrap around the valley here. We did not notice, but straight ahead there where that rock face is, we got to dip around that rock face. And it looks, it's extremely steep. It's super sketchy. And it's definitely probably going to be ice axe material, micro spikes, and uh, 400 billion prayers to something somewhere. Because, uh, I don't know, that's sketchy. Pockets is super sketched about me going around that and in a way I don't blame her because she slipped and fallen a lot and that's not really the place you can afford to slip and fall so I'm gonna come over here and take a look and see if there's a way down into the valley here but this is gonna be like a day-long trip just just getting down into the valley so we can climb all the way up over there it's like where you just go for it, go around the corner so what do I do? Uh, He's out over that way now. He's hiking way over there, so he made it. He doesn't even have an ice axe, he just used the pole. So we're gonna go give it a shot before we start to get a little sketchy. So far, so good? Yep. All right. You're gonna feel good after this. Ooh. This is way better than I thought it was going to be. I think his footsteps going down are right over there. But, I, no, he went this way. This is his snow basket right here. There's another one right there. See him? Huh? What do you mean, like here? Yeah, he went up and then had to go down. So he did end up climbing up these rocks right here. Yeah. And then he ended up coming back down. Okay. Well, I see steps going down here, but there's nothing going across there. And he didn't walk down that far. There's no fucking way. So somebody walked it down to there. A bunch of people have. That looks sketchier, more sketchy to me. Right? You want to try to walk down there? I really wish I didn't put this coat on. We got it. Snow's kind of hard though. And I'm sweating to death already. If I had a toboggan, I'd be down by now. Huh? Um. Just don't fall forward. I see you leaning forward an awful lot.
You want to try the valley? <laughs> if I can get there, I'm sliding down. How far? What are you going to stop with your poles? Yep. I we decided we're going to slide down this mountain um, because this sucks. We just got to be able to stop. That's all. Otherwise, it doesn't look fun. So I'm going to get down as far as I can. I'm going to put gloves on real quick. Although it's just a little sketch. We probably should have went when Farrell went and just followed him and the tracks he made. Because there's two ways to go. You can go around the edge of the mountain, which is really sketch, which is what he did. Or right up here where that steep drop off is just beyond that people are actually glissading down there and I don't trust my skills with an ice axe enough or with trekking poles to be able to stop myself from going 60 miles an hour down a hill so we're kind of screwed we're gonna have to backtrack walk everything we did all the way around this whole valley and down into the valley we're screwed it's either that or have a helicopter come get us you know this it just sucks man I wasn't expecting it. This is the sketchiest thing so far. Everything else was like cake compared to this. This sucks. Really does. We're gonna make our way down into this valley instead of dying. That's the current plan. There we go. Making good progress down this valley. Yeah, I think I broke my pole though. No, it's good. Ah. Oh, that was a good spill. I'm working with here. I should have put my micro spikes on, but I didn't, so now I'm stuck trying to kick steps so I don't die. And I smell really bad right now. We're not going to die today, Pockets. That's why we went this way. We made it to the bottom of the valley. Now, we just need to figure out either how to get back up there, or we need to walk the valley and figure out how the hell to get out of here. I need water, though. I'll get it from here. Made it to the bottom of the valley. I also scratched the heck out of my lens in the process, but... This is what we basically just came down, is this. So we were up there, and now we're down here. And uh, kind of over everything right now. We saw a cabin that way, and a dirt road, and a way out of the valley. And you know, we can maybe get back on trail there, but I'm not gonna lie, if I see a car, I'm out of here. I'm going to town. I'm over this and I need pizza. I've been thinking about pizza for like six and a half hours. I even farted earlier and it smelled like pizza. I haven't had pizza in like three and a half weeks. All right, let me just show you guys what we did. If you can see this topo, we, um, and rather than coming down this real steep section that some people had the balls to glissade down and we did not, um, we ended up just coming down here, uh, down into this valley. And now we're gonna follow this valley all the way up up to this green route right here rather than continue to take the red route because we know that there's another sketchy area on the red route wow my lens is dirty is that better no is that better uh, a little anyway we know there's a couple more sketchy spots on that red route and i'm not a mountaineer man like i'm, I'm not a mountain i'm a mountain man but i'm not a mountaineer man you know like i I'm not doing that. Like, that was sketch, and uh, Pockets really wanted to do it. She yeah. kept trying to talk me into it. She was like, stop being a punk, Chris. Nope. Let's go down the mountain. Not at all. Why are you so scared? Stop being a baby. <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> That's not what happened. But, uh, yeah, so now we're going to continue down this valley and uh, out towards those mountains over yonder, and we're just going to figure out life. <laughs> 